What if I told you that while much of the world still wastes hours in endless traffic jams, one small African nation suddenly leapt ahead and became the very first on the continent to launch a real flying taxi. This is not fantasy. Rwanda has carried out the public flight of a self-flying electric car taxi in the country, the first of its kind in the African continent. So ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts, Keep your minds open and let's take off on this journey together. Welcome to Aviation Africa 2025, Murakazaneza Ichigari. Today for the first time in Africa, a self-flying air taxi will take the skies. It's not the script of a futuristic movie. It happened in Rwanda. So buckle up, stay tuned. And if you think the future of transportation belongs only to New York, Tokyo, or Dubai, prepare to have your mind changed. Because today, we take off into Africa's aviation future. For the first time in African history, a passenger drone lifted off publicly, carrying people, not just packages. It wasn't a hidden experiment. It was a bold declaration. Africa is not waiting for the future. Africa is building it. But here's the question. Why Rwanda? Why not the powerhouses of the world? Pause for a moment. Think about your own country. Is it leading change or watching others move ahead? Keep listening. Because the answer to why Rwanda will surprise you. Today, for the first time in Africa, a self-flying air taxi will take to the skies. We are very happy to be part of this demonstration and look forward to seeing what will come next. For Africa, the vision is very clear. To invest in a strong and more dynamic aviation sector as a necessary building block for economic growth. With a growing middle class and increasing tourism, the demand for air travel will only get stronger. The numbers speak for themselves. In the coming years, passenger traffic on our continent is expected to double. Meet the Ehang A216S. Not a helicopter, not a private jet, something entirely different, autonomous, silent, safe, and fast. Imagine this, a trip from downtown Kigali to the airport normally takes 45 minutes in gridlock. This air taxi, just five minutes. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Safety isn't left to chance. 16 rotors, triple redundancy, automatic landing systems. Even if one motor stops, the others keep you secure in the air. Now think cost. A helicopter ride, 200 to $500. An electric air taxi ride, just 20 to 50. Pause here. Ask yourself, would you try it if it costs less than your Uber? The flying taxi demonstration isn't just about a new aircraft. It's about Rwanda building the aviation hub of East Africa. Vision 2050 lays out a future where electric aircraft connect Kigali to Kampala, Nairobi, Dar es Salaam. Journeys that once took a day will take an hour. They are already planning charging stations, landing pads built into city designs, and air traffic control systems designed specifically for autonomous aircraft. And they're not waiting for perfect conditions. They're creating them. Here is the truth. The future doesn't belong to the countries with the biggest economies or the most resources. It belongs to the ones with the clearest vision and the courage to act on it. Yesterday, Africa took flight. And Rwanda is leading the way. So the question is, would you trust a pilotless flying taxi? And when the future arrives in your country, 
will you be ready to step inside? 